story about a little boy called Joey. He wonder if he can become a flying master. Before the story, I want to ask this question: Do you ever want to fly in the sky as well? Now let's start the journey of Joey. The school is built on a mountain. Joey has to work hard to climb the mountain to go to school every day. Joey feels it is too hard. Joey met a little bird on the road. Joey wonder if I could fly too. Would it be much easier to go to school this way? As soon as Joey got home, he started to find out which bird flew the fastest. It is the sharp-tailed swift. The bird in the video flies across the sky so quickly, even can reach one hundred meter per second. If I could find a sharp-tailed swift to teach me how to fly, I would not have to climb mountains anymore. Joey immediately started packing his things and looking on the map for possible locations of sharp-tailed swifts. So Joey set off, crossing mountains and ridges to find sharp-tailed swift. It is said that they will appear on the cliffs of high mountains. After a long journey, Joey finally saw sharp-tailed swifts on the cliff at the top of the mountain. Can anyone teach me how to fly? Joey asked. A sharp-tailed swift that looked very intelligent came to Joey. You can call me Master of Flying. I already know your purpose of coming. So, young man, how much do you know about flying? I feel that flying is similar to swimming. When I wave my arms while swimming, the water will push me forward. Similarly, the bird flap. Its wings in the sky and pushes away the air, and the air will push the bird forward. So as long as I can wave my arms quickly like you do, I can also fly. I didn't expect you to be so smart. Then we can start the special training directly. Are you ready? Joey jumped up with excitement. Yes, that's great. I'm ready. We all know that birds need wings to beat the air, and a spindle-shaped body to reduce drag. Then I will put on a hat and ask my mother to make me a pair of wings. Joy imagined how he would look like wearing the equipment. No, no, no! That's not enough. Flying birds are covered with feathers to reduce air resistance. Joey thought about the feathers to be collected. That must be a big project. Besides, in order to flap your wings quickly, you also need strong chest muscles, which is about one fifth of the total weight. Then I just exercise every day, and I can grow taller as well. That is great. On top of that. Our bones are supposed to be hollow to save weight. How how am I going to exercise for that? Joy was stunned. To ensure breathing during high speed flight, we also have several airbags. Can I? The most important thing is that in order to reduce the burden of food, our lectern is very short, and we have to learn to poop in the air.、Mm. At this moment, Joe's dream was shattered. He felt that he could never fly freely in the sky like the mast of flying, or poop freely. The disappointed Joey said goodbye to the master, but on the way down the mountain, Joey suddenly had a new idea. Do I really need this exercise to fly? 
except the bird master. Is there any other masters who can fly? Maybe the blue master can take me flying. Or an airplane master. Will they have different flying skills? After packing his things, Joey sets off again. Which master will he visit this time? Will he finally learn to fly? So maybe it is your time to start your own journey. Are you ready to open the door? And maybe you could find your own sky.